The very first thing you want to do is remove any unwanted baseboards. We started at the bottom and used our five and a half inch baseboard. Then we measured and decided what the height we wanted to use for the top. Make sure you use a level to make sure everything is straight. Now it's time to install our two and a half inch wide boards and we're starting on each side of the corners. We measured the wall and we found the center of the wall to start our middle board. You can choose how far apart you want each board. We decided on 16 and a half inches apart. Make sure you use your level each time you install a board. Once you've finished installing all your pieces, you're going to want to caulk in all the corners. For all your joints and your nail holes, you're going to want to use a good sandable wood filler. If you use an inexpensive wood, you might have a lot of knot holes and you want to fill those in as well. Once all your wood filler is completely dry, you're going to want to sand it all down. We like using 220 for this step. Now it's time for painting. We bought a paint and primer in one 
and the color is down in the description below. brush we just freehanded some lines to give a whimsical look. Thank you. 